Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night, but for now, let's get into the video. So I just saw a post that actually really caught my attention, and essentially the rundown is that AI eventually will be so powerful that people will be able to make their own spouses or like soulmates and life partners, right? Which is honestly terrifying. Can you imagine how many people would like make it look like one of their exes or someone they loved a lot or just, just like certain people that might not know that they, they liked them all along? You know what I mean? Could you imagine? No, not really. Have her look like one of my exes? Why in the world would I do that? If you believe the argument that's going on on TikTok about how everyone has their own dream girl or dream boy, wouldn't I go for my dream girl instead of one of my exes? I would be more worried that men started creating their AI girlfriends instead, because you will need more women in STEM fields, so they'll start creating your AI boyfriends. I often talk about how you should be aware of men who don't ask you questions on dates, but... Another thing you should be aware of is a man who can't give you a compliment. Every human needs a different level of words of affirmation, compliments, whatever you want to call it. But as a woman, if you are a straight woman dating straight men, and you put a lot of effort into how you look, like, you know, maybe it's a Saturday night date in the early stages of dating, and you get looking really hot, looking really cute, you're feeling yourself... If he doesn't stop and acknowledge you and say, whoa, you look really beautiful tonight, or oh my gosh, that dress suits you so much, or you're going to a fancy event together, if he doesn't compliment you on how you look, you need to clock that, okay? Don't shove it under the rug. Don't think, oh, I'm being vain. I need, I need affirmation. Da, da, da. No. If you look hot, if you've put effort in, he should compliment you. Okay, but if he doesn't, what exactly you should be aware of? Not for nothing, not everyone is going to a fancy event. Some people, maybe even the majority, they go out for drinks or pizza or coffees or a walk or a movie. Still, maybe, yeah, he should say, you look nice. But going back to my original point, what exactly you need to be aware of if he doesn't? What does it mean if he doesn't? What type of person that makes him if he doesn't? My point is, you've just said a lot of empty words. I don't know about the other dating apps, but Hinge has gotten to the point for me where I just look at the collage. I look at the profile that I've made of myself. And I'm like, wow, you are amazing. And then I leave the app. <laughs> You don't know about the other dating apps, you should, because you're the only one that knows what you do on all the other dating apps. And when or if you do realize that, maybe you also realize how empty your life is if that's your hobby. To the man that I met at the bar this weekend, where when I walked out of the bar, I heard you talking to my friend and your friend about women's anatomy. And my friend was just sitting there listening. And everything that you were saying was completely wrong. And so I sat down. I indulged. I wanted to hear what you had to say. But then when you started talking about how women need to do more Kegels and that they do them wrong, I couldn't help myself. I said, well, that's not necessarily true, with the intent of maybe thinking that you would want to learn. You're talking about things that aren't true so if you want to talk about women's anatomy i'm happy to teach you something i'm sure you would be you were leaving the bar when you heard them talk to your friend and his friend about something then you decided to not leave and sat down and you told him whatever that was on your mind so far so good but i can assume right then and there you already happy to teach him everything bottom line is you already supposedly had that conversation with him and yet you made this video for him i mean sure why not true story Ladies, for the love of God, if the guy you like has even one of these red flags, please lose his number. We're cutting right to the chase. If you meet him and he asks for your Snapchat, I quite literally have nothing to say about that except run. I personally love it. I spam my story every single day, but a grown man should not be trying to get to know you over Snapchat. Pretty self-explanatory, but maybe we should see a little. Even if he's not directly bringing up his ex-girlfriend, but even just referencing his past relationship way too much, absolutely goodbye. <laughs> Never speak to me again. If you are confused, red flag a guy who truly truly likes you will never leave you confused and you will know that he likes you a hard pill to swallow because sometimes you fall in love with the idea and it's like the what if what could be still left unsure how he feels about you if he follows more girls than you do that one just never ends well, in my personal experience. For guys following their girlfriends, whatever, okay? But we're talking if he is following girls on Instagram that do not follow him back. If your man is a fan, please, 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 please. If all of his ex-girlfriends were crazy, 
I promise you he's crazy and abort mission. Don't get me wrong, girls can be absolutely crazy. Like I know that, but if all of them were crazy, huge red flag because the common denominator is probably him. If he's too busy to even text or call you, as human beings, we make time for the things that we prioritize and want to make time for. If he can't even simply check in on you, yeah. Bye bye. I truly think love bombing is a red flag that we overlook because we love the idea of the person we like loving us, but... Yeah, I'm sorry I let this one talk for so long. If he doesn't make time, if he doesn't prioritize you, red flag. But then if he's interested and he gives you the attention you wanted, that's too much attention and it's also a red flag. Aren't you ladies tired to listen to these lunatics who have no idea what they're talking about? She made it sound like an advice to other women even though everything she said were her own preferences. Aren't you ladies tired of these lunatics keeping you single? Why are you listening to some lunatic telling you what your red flags should be? I refuse to spend another Christmas single. If I'm if I'm single come this Christmas, I give up. Unfortunately, I am a lover girl. I am a hopeless romantic and Christmas is my favorite time of year. I, it's also so coupley, isn't it? Like Christmas markets and like cozying up in front of the fire watching Christmas movies. That's all so coupley. And I've never had a cute couple's Christmas, okay? And I'm tired of it. So Hetty in the future duet this did you find your not your christmas boyfriend but your boyfriend in time for christmas almost three months till christmas and i hate to say it doesn't look good you've had not months but years to find yourself a christmas boyfriend and so far no luck at this point writing a letter to santa will probably have more success here's how to manipulate men into wanting you as their girlfriend it's actually very simple, it's very obvious, and I'm gonna dive right in. In order for him to understand what he's missing out on, like what he could have, how amazing you are, you have to show him, right? You have to make him understand. So what you can do is give him the girlfriend privilege. A few examples of this would be cook for him, bake for him, give him head scratches, they go crazy for that. Send him cute messages that give him butterflies. I have a whole series about how to do that, so watch that. Reply fast, show him that you want to see him. And then, and then you take it away. You take the whole girlfriend privilege, you take it away. Essentially what this will do is make him miss it. Make him crave what he had because it was so much better what he had. Yeah, no, especially head scratches because they're crazy about that. But sure, you can take head scratches away and replace that with head. Not that it will change much because you can manipulate him into seeing you as a girlfriend. If you want him to see you as a girlfriend, why not be a girlfriend? All you have to do to be a girlfriend is to be a decent human being. Men, do you know how to tell if your woman is plumpy or not? Right? Okay? When you go to hug her around the waist and your hands meet, your hands meet like that, or even like that a bit, okay? It means she's not plumpy, okay? And she's not fat. Now, when you go to grab her and your hands don't meet, kind of go like that, right? It means you've short fucking hands. Oh yes, absolutely. Just like there is no such thing as an ugly woman, only a man who hasn't had enough to drink, there is no such thing as a big woman, only a man with short arms, hands. We're not talking about T-Rex here, princess. Some of you will be plumpy or whatever you said. If you want a man to fall in love with you, just be emotionally unavailable. Don't give him a safe space, okay? Don't give him a safe space. Let him know, actually, this is not a safe space. They'll love it. They'll love you. Yeah, I'm sure they will absolutely not. But what the hell do I know? I'm just a man. Far from me to know what the hell men want. <laughs> Alright, then this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.